Drop. Drop. I just got here like okay. 10 minutes Thanks ago. Thanks a lot. So, you good? Yeah. PA. Go. It's out of bounds. Yeah. Got it. <laughs> Cut it. Try, please. <laughs> Watch the feet. Oh! Watch the feet! Let's go, Osho! Bro, come on. Y'all ain't built like this at 54. They're locking him up. I'm in his head, boy. I'm playing my game. I can't give you five right now. Woo! <laughs> We had to fight to get a meal, yeah, wrongfully accused, we had to fight to get a pill, that's why we right to get a deal, he on the team, he gotta eat, you know, despite the skills, fat. keep it riding for the fam, you gotta light the wooden wheel straight up, but in the past bad, work up in the trash bag, I'll pass a lot to take the test before I pass class, yeah, and my family needed bread, I had to come correct, that's why I keep airing it out like I just passed gas. I am athlete parlay. We've been hot, 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 hot. These are guaranteed wins. I'm gonna take Arizona over San Fran. Whoa. It's all about matchups, understanding who's playing against who. It's a game of chess. The NBA playoffs are here. The play-in tournament, which means it's big business, all right? Download DraftKings Sportsbook, new users. You bet $5, you instantly get 150 in new bets. So much action. If the sports book isn't live in your city, in your state, you can always participate in the fantasy contest. Every day, millions of dollars given away throughout the, the season. So go ahead and download the app. Use promo code ATHLETE. DraftKings Sportsbook, the official partner of the NBA. DraftKings.com is the sports book. I Am Athlete is the platform. Parlay, I Am Athlete, all day. Promo code ATHLETE, let's get it. Listen, we got two special guests today. They were phenomenal, phenomenal football players in college. Usually for most, the transition into the NFL, it takes some time. But year one, both of them in their respective crafts hit the ground running and ain't missed a motherfucking beat. I'm gonna leave it at that. You can do the rest of your homework yourself because they great at what they do. Jalen, the penguin, Waddle, and we got the other kid, from the, yeah, clap from the dog, man. Yeah, yeah. At the boot, I said it right? Yeah. Yeah, at the boot, <laughs> we got Jamal Gritty Chase. The numbers speak for itself, so we're gonna get the show going. Both, both of these guys set rookie records. Rookie, rookie records. Rookie. It's, we're not even talking about them breaking your records. Right, right, rookie. But, 104 receptions, set a rookie record, 1,455 1, yards, set a rookie record. And then not on, on top of that, mm. what you did in the playoffs, which a lot of people don't get that kind of success mm -mm. in their first season going to the Super Bowl. When, when was your Super Bowl trip? Super, my Super Bowl. <laughs> I'm, I'm just... My Super Bowl, playing Madden. <laughs> <laughs> playing Madden. <laughs> no, the, the, the thing which it has to, not just their skill set, but the colleges that they play for and having players that young already NFL ready. There's a huge learning curve and transition from being a senior or junior, whenever you come out to get into the NFL and being able to adjust. And the fact that he was able to adjust off the back like that, you know, and I'm, I'm speaking from a point of almost jealousy in a sense, because God damn, what took you so long? Well, hold on. He didn't even play a whole year though. Let he, he set out a whole year. And still, and still, and still did the numbers that he did, man. That speaks a lot of, of hard work and dedication. But thank y'all for coming, bro. Like, so, like, first let's get into how is it now, though? Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah, the real life now. Like, uh, yeah. I know what college was like, but right now y'all are the guys, bro. Like, um, you had a chance to go to the Super Bowl. You, you just really 
brought everybody hope in Miami. Um, like, what is it like now? How's the DMs? Like, what is it? Is it crazy <laughs> now? Like, I ain't gonna lie, like, everyday life, I've been here, you know, for almost a year, but this is my first time actually, like, enjoying Miami, you know? Yeah. I've been here working into then, so the off season, I haven't had, like, three months or two months off right. since high school, probably just not doing nothing, I feel like. But everyday life is just regular. I mean, Miami just, you see players here. <laughs> throughout the whole year just yeah. coming to you. So I feel like Miami just where everything be at for real. Yeah. I mean, f for me, it was fun. You know what I'm saying? Everything going on is lit, to be honest. Made it to the Super Bowl. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I came out here on HOA, get that work in. Meet some people, connect. You know what I'm saying? So uh, it's a good experience. You know, I got to meet with Juice. Finally got to work out with him. So, you know, a couple of receivers I want to meet. Uh, you know, I want to finally start working out with those guys. So I know Miami to be the place to you know, uh, everybody work out with the receiver, so that's why I won't be at. Why is that important? Why Why is it important to work out with guys that you've probably looked up to going mm -hmm. back to your LSU career? Uh, I know you, Alabama, you, you were on a roster with, what, six first-round wide receivers? So why is it important to, to get that mentorship? Yeah, for me, I just want to, you know, pick their brain, see what they're thinking. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like, every receiver is different, you know? So they got shifty, they got big receivers, they got small receivers, quick receivers, you know what I'm saying? Everybody got their different type of game. So, uh, you know, when you meet new people, you want to figure out how they play their game. When you watch them, you watch them work out, you see how good they are in person. So that's when you get to ask questions. That's when you get to, you know, put some of your game in their game and you're just taking everything. That's when you're getting better around everybody. So, you know, that's what I want to be. You know, be great, get better, develop my game. You think? You think they had you had you played with two at Alabama too, right? Fact. You think y'all success making it that transition into the NFL had something to do with you also having the same quarterback in college? I think it made it easier, like yeah. that you're already through it with someone before. Right. I feel right. like just the repetition. It's right. like kind of like riding a bike, like yeah. just going back. You know how like, the ball will come. You know how it's gonna come. You know example. what he's thinking. So I feel like it is definitely easier. I think it's an advantage for sure. I mean, you took it right off the bat. Honestly, you know, I came in, met Joe two years, and then my third year, we finally really connected, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So it's cool having that experience, you know what I'm saying? You don't really get to see it a lot, so it was an easy adjustment. AJ, coming from the SEC ball, playing with Saban, how much is that so much close of what you're doing now? Like, how 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 he's preparing you guys to compare to right now? Is it is it real similar? Is it different? Because it seems like you guys from Alabama is a, a little bit stuck. And same thing mm -hmm. with the receivers from LSU. You know, like you can go down the line. We'll, we'll ask that question later about how many of the greats done came out. But, but like, I'm just trying to figure out, like, what is this, the sauce in there, man? Like, it's the program. The program is it's just, it teaches you so much. Not just football, but in life. For like, bro, that's, that's your heart. Like every day is something Compete. and it's competing against the best, you know, every day, not just the best on the other side, but best in the room. I'm in the room with Rug, Smitty, Jew, and mm -hmm. I always think we them guys, yeah, like, yeah. and it's not a bad competition. It's who going to make that play at practice? I'm going to yeah. be like, uh, who going to do this? Who going to do this? And then we got DBs on the other side. We got Diggs. We got Pat. We got all these <laughs> guys that think they them guys. So it just bring out the best of you. So when you go to the NFL when them guys really is everywhere on the field. Yeah. It's the same yeah. all day. Like, so I that think that's, what, what, that's what, what it do. What is, the, what is the competition level? I mean, we all know the SEC is, is the big dog of college football. At least y'all want, you know, back in, back in my day, the Canes and FSU, Canes, FSU used Canes. to be what Yo, Alabama. The back then. It, it was the Big East back then. Bro. Oh, I don't know if it was the Big East. It was, it was, it was the Big East back then, bro. What was it? What, what was it, it was the Big then? East, I'm telling you. It, it, it was just the Canes. Oh, come on. Ain't nobody, <laughs> <laughs> ain't nobody talking about West Virginia. <laughs> uh, well, you, you the Virginia best player. Tech. Yeah. But when you get to the NFL, what's it like, that competition level? Is it similar to what you see at Alabama and LSU? I think so. Like, it be physical out there. Like, it's your physical game. You're going against the best. Especially when you match up against LSU, we know they're going to bring their best game. No, we gonna gotta bring our best game. Mm -hmm. So it's like best on best. And a lot of the guys you play against in LSU, you gonna see in the next level. Right. All their guys. So I mean, a lot.
Nah, from a physical standpoint, definitely it do. That's all it was in college, especially at SEC. But back, I feel like now in the league, I don't know. I mean, this is my first year, but like like you said, Joe was my quarterback. Everything came. I felt like that was a smooth transition for me. I felt like I was back in college, to be honest. Like everything just worked out. So we we got into the smooth transition, but your start wasn't as smooth. That training camp where you were dropping the balls. Mm-hmm. What 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 was the issue? I don't know. <laughs> I was looking at my hands like, I don't know, man. They was just, killing I my said, dog. I, I, mean, I, 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 I told him I, got a, uh, I had a, a radio show in Cincinnati with Solomon. Yeah. You know Solomon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I said, all the, it just got to slow down for him. Yeah. The man ain't played football in a whole oh, year. Yeah. Once the game slow down for him, yeah. he going to be cool. I ended up bumping into him one night. I said, man, you remember what you told me now, man? You said you going to break every goddamn record. I came here today, I said, man, God damn, boy, you did God <laughs> damn exactly. everything you Listen, told me you was going to do. Let me tell you why it, I'm, I'm such a big fan, though. When the, the pass was dropping, I remember sending a tweet out, that ain't going to take no time. Because obviously, you're taking the year off, it only takes so long before you really get back in the yeah. rhythm. Mm-hmm. Bro, when he said, I'm going to break every record, and I already knew what time it was when he said it, because don't nobody talk like, like that, that going to the next level unless they really <laughs> like that. Yeah. So I already knew what time it was. So when the record started being broken, people started tweeting, like, listen, man. I think you was the last one that talked like that, though, Chad. Yeah. I already knew what was going to happen. You had the board. I, I knew what was going to happen. You checked them off. You hot sauced them. See, this is a good question for, for, for the next generation wide receivers. Do you think that anybody can, y'all might be too young to even know what this man did in his prime. No. Like, in his prime, he would have a board with every DB that he would face and check them off when he got off on them and talk all week about what he's going to do. Could you do that in today's NFL? I ain't going to lie. I feel like, like, I don't know. Social media probably wasn't as big probably back then. Didn't even exist. Like, I'm saying, people, I feel like, in our society, like, people, they ain't gonna They're interpret ridiculed. that the same. Right, no. yeah. yeah. But still, what's the difference? What's the difference in him not even playing an NFL snap and saying what I'm gonna do and then mother going to do it? That's the same thing. But nah, you had some no, people that you tried call, to. You call people oh, out. It, it, it was a couple of people who tried to who tried to say something about that right. too. Actually, the one lady who said something, I won't say no name, was the first lady who put the mic in his face right. when uh we won the playoff game. I said, ain't this some sh right here? <laughs> It's the same lady who goes, da, 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 you need to worry about winning the whole game with the Bengals or something, something, something. I'm like, you got to be kidding me. She the first lady, the first lady that he get to run to once we win the first playoff game. I have game. no idea who you're talking about. What I won't even that? say no yeah, name. Know. The name is, is, he know who I'm talking <laughs> he, 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 about. I know. I know. <laughs> Listen, when you, can, when you can walk it and talk it, yeah. just walk it and talk it. They, yeah. they want to, I hate using the word humble, but they, they, they want you to play the game quietly. Yeah. They want you to be humble. They want to dim your light. Man, God bless you with a certain gift. God yeah. bless you with a certain talent. Obviously, most of us aren't visible unless you market yourself. Unless if the NFL ain't market, you got to do it yourself. The NFL not gonna market you. No, they not. But He's man, just, that yeah. Too. I mean, y'all don't know that yet. Have fun with it. I don't think y'all. Yeah, have fun with it. Have fun with it. Too much yet. Have fun with it. I don't know too if much. If you're not yet. a quarterback, the NFL not gonna market you. Market no matter yourself. no matter how big or how good you are, if you're not a quarterback, mm-hmm. the NFL. You could, look at Aaron, look at Aaron Donald. Aaron Donald is the best defensive player, probably arguably top five player in the league right now. Do you see the NFL marketing him? But what I'm saying, it's easy to market offense. You two, <laughs> y'all can be marketed. Tell them, Chad. Maybe you can't. You can. Maybe we need to have a one-on-one with Chad. They on, they on, they on the way anyway, just off consistency alone. Yeah. Just from what y'all did this year and continue yeah. to, to build on that, man, this is Cincinnati and Miami finna be in your hands like this for the long haul. Bro. Yeah, for the long haul. Speaking of that, every man's dream is to go play in the Super Bowl. Dang. Everybody in Cincinnati <laughs> probably <laughs> wants me to ask you this. Yeah. Tell me how that shit felt. Please tell me. I know it had to be one of the best. It was fun, honestly. Had. Like, leading up to everything, it's buku BS going on, like, interviews, all that other stuff. But the countdown is crazy, though. Like, stadium crazy. Walking in the day before, like, you you really getting the chills and everything, like, the day before. That's how I was, you know what I'm saying? You know, we took the team pictures. That shit was just turnt. Like, 
<laughs> it was unexplainable for me because I ain't my first championship I won was in college. You know what I'm saying? I really never made it to a championship in football. Then I got to the NFL and Burrow put us on our back and kept going. What's it feel like when you don't cross that finish line, mm -hmm. the victor? It hurt. It hurt. I mean, that's something I put everything into. That's the reason why I'm playing football, you know what I'm saying? That's the 17 weeks I'm hurting for, you know what I'm saying? So when I'm not, when I didn't finish it, it hurt, you know what I'm saying? I can't show it too much. I'm going to show it, but you know what I'm saying? But it just hurt. How long did it take you to get over it? About three days. I mean, I enjoyed the process. I'm not going to dwell yeah. on it, you know what I'm saying? I'm young, <laughs> like 21, that. just turned 22, so I'm, I'm still living. I'm not going to be that hard on myself. I remember uh, going back to my younger years, uh, Dan Marino, he made the championship in his early years, and he just thought he'd be there forever. He thought he'd, it, it, it would be automatic and never got back there. I don't feel like that. I feel like I got a chance. I feel like I got multiple chances. Now that I got my same quarterback from college, you know what I'm saying? It, it happened before. It could happen again. So I got, I got young a couple too, chances. Man. Very young. Yeah, and you see them changes. You know I mean? Mike Brown you, you made. See what, Mike Brown you see opened Mike, that pocketbook for that old line. Rain. Oh, see, Mike oh, Brown <laughs> just made it rain. Did you know that? He just made it rain. He, he's Let's spinning. Go. He's breaking it, it the listens. bank right now, bro. Notoriously cheap, though. Nah, nah, hey, nah. He broke the bank this nope, year. Nope, nope. Last year nah, on defense, nope. we spent about two hundred million. And then this we year, got next year. year season, next year we're gonna give Joe another three hundred million. Then he'll be coming to get his two hundred million. Mike gonna spend this money. We gonna give you thirty a year. We're going to give you 30 a year. I'm going to talk to, to Stephen, Stephen Ross because he's cheap. That's a cheap man. <laughs> Are you <laughs> kidding? Huh? He just yeah. spent the second most money in the, in, in the offseason again. Who? Stephen Ross. On the left tackle? What do you mean? No, on the whole team. On, How on are you saying that? Huh? Yeah, I'm just, I'm just, you know, I can say this. You can't say nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. Ooh. They spent like 89 million, 89 guaranteed dollars. His new wide receiver teammate, Tyreek Hill. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Tyreek Hill, the okay. left tackle. Now, now, now Tyreek talked mm. about. That could be deadly. He wants a race. Uh huh. Uh, he he has to establish his dominance as the <laughs> fastest man on the team. Are you open and willing to accept that challenge? Uh, look, I already knew this was coming. As soon as I seen, it, I'm literally in the middle of workout. My trainer come like, man, I just got Tyreek Hill. I'm like, I'm running around the gym. I'm like, okay then, whatever. <laughs> But, boy, I think the next day I see, I say, man, I know he's going to try to race. Let me get on these legs real quick. <laughs> Hit the legs. I'm like, I already knew that was coming. Yeah, well, we for sure going to, I already know it's going to come. We for sure, I don't know if it's going to be like in front of people or He the fastest I done seen in person or played against, and that's hard. We got a running back, 23 miles per hour, too. Oh, yeah. Moister. Moister. Yeah, Y'all got fast. a real track team now. So I know he gonna get in on it too. So <laughs> it's gonna be a track meet for sure. Now nah, we we for sure gonna race. I already know. How it. much do you think all of that speed is gonna try try to open up the offense for for the team? I ain't gonna lie. Like it's one thing you can't coach. Like speed, <laughs> shit unmatched. You don't really got no answer for that. You can try to game plan for it. You can try to ain't nothing like one. It's going. So I feel like it's gonna open up everything from in the backfield, from the running game, passing game, play action. I'm excited, I'm, I'm excited. It's gonna be a, a learning experience, but I think it's gonna be fun. Even, even, even though it's still early, I know Mike McDaniels is offensive minded coach, right? Yeah? yeah. Have you had a chance to get any snippet or just a, a idea what the offense is gonna be like since I'm assuming it's gonna be different this year? Uh, um, I think you just look back at all the, the teams that he's been a part of, right. like he was in Atlanta, he was in, he was with uh, San Fran. Like, just go back and look at it. I feel like it's a, a system that's established and got, had success. So right. things gonna kind of complement, but you know, different weapons, different teams. So I feel like he gonna add his own mix to it and try to work with what we got. You, you had obviously an interesting, he had, he had a honeymoon season. He went to the Super Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, does it get any better than that? It wasn't a honeymoon. It wasn't a honeymoon if I saw one. That's won. the hardest thing Honeymoon do. season is going home early. It wasn't a honeymoon so? unless I won. Huh? Honeymoon season <laughs> okay. is when you get to go home okay. and you get paid all your Listen, money. You don't have to put in you no play, other hard work, let me, bro. The, For people at home to get a better understanding of how difficult it is to be a rookie, to have a successful season, and be 70% of the reason why you went to the Super Bowl, that's a good percentage, too. I like that, 70 I think it's it's play, play Madden 
play Madden for 17 weeks on all Madden and see if you can make it. You did it? Hell no. Nah. <laughs> and that's the point on how difficult it is. But I didn't play, I played, what, 12 years? Ain't sniffed the Super Bowl. It's hard to win a playoff. It's hard to win a playoff game. Huh? It's hard to win a playoff game. Better yet, a Super Bowl. Okay, so, so if he didn't have a honeymoon season, I mean, things went right for him from the time the regular season got there. This this man, you know, they started. They started off one and seven. Oh, but look how they ended though. <laughs> oh, that's 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 important too. Yeah. But the whole time your quarterback is under controversy because the head coach is trying to go get another quarterback. Was it the head coach but you or was it the person that's sitting all the way at the top? <sighs> that's something as a player. That, that's, that's, that, see, I, 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 I would love as, as a player, that's something that's out of your control. You can't worry about that. But you telling me the distractions don't impact you and no, your team? No. No, it's still football. We got to get paid. I, gotta I think do that's my a media job. narrative I a that they create do. where you think distractions bother you. Man, when, really? once you, listen, once you're inside that building and your <laughs> safe haven and that green grass between them lines, it's free. all that noise don't it even don't matter. matter. He on the side right there. Yeah. Hold on. So, so you telling me that y'all didn't have no conversations about Deshaun Watson as a team and the, the month long pursuit <laughs> of Deshaun Watson while two is there winning games for you. Okay, do we have a meeting? No, I mean, no, y'all, obviously they had to address it in the meeting. Yeah, hey guys, we ain't worrying about the two, I mean, we ain't worrying about the uh, Deshaun Watson situation, let's keep winning games. That's how the conversation go. What else do they got? They ain't gonna tell you nothing else. Like, like, yeah. Chad say, like, I feel like it do be a media thing, like, then the, the be on in a in the in lunch, lunch room. in the lunch room. <laughs> you be like, so it really be a mere thing. Once you go into that locker room, going down that practice field, it's, it's business, all business. That's about it. <laughs> so nobody nobody talking about it. I mean, you probably talk about the locker room going out. You know, you got your pad, you got your helmet. That's, but that's what... not a distraction. The media creates it when there are issues or there's arguments on the sideline or something goes on in the locker room, media, all right. oh, distraction, man, don't care. Oh, I'm sorry. People don't care nothing about that. They don't care about it. As, as players, you, you know you have a job to do. Shit happens. We've been seeing it for, for who knows how long, and just media blows everything out of proportion. Everything, the smallest stuff. Tom Brady, act a fool on the sideline, is showing passion. Goddamn receiver, <laughs> act a fool on the sideline, goddamn. <laughs> He's, he's crazy, problem. yeah. He's a distraction. It's a problem. Eh, no, it's football. It's passion behind it. It's like having sex. Nah. <laughs> when you see everything that happened with the team transpired in the offseason, obviously you thought the turnaround was probably going to save Brian Flores, and then it doesn't save Brian Flores, and then Brian Flores comes out with the lawsuit against the team claiming racial discrimination against the league, racial discrimination against the Dolphins. What do you think as a player? You know, me, I try to stay in, in, the, in the player's lane. Like, I try to let the higher ups be the higher ups, the coaches be the coaches, let the players be the players. So I try not to like, really like, get into what's going on up there or what they're doing at the end of the day. I'm gonna go out there and play with the guys in the locker room, not the coaches, not the, you know, higher ups. So I try to stay in the player's lane. Uh, trust in the organization just like I trust in the coaches to do their job and try to do it as best they can. But th that's just my take on it. Hey, Jay, so we're going to flip that. So as a, a player, as a, a guy in the locker room that, you know, um, you create bonds with, um, you had a teammate that you used to play with that went through a tragic, tragic situation. Um, Henry, um, have you reached out to him? Do you know how he's doing mentally? Um, have you just tried to show him any love or y'all close or anything? Yeah, like that bond that I think all the receivers got in that in that room is like, I mean, that's just gonna be like forever, like brothers, all of them, not even the ones you might not even like know about or hear, that room's kind of close. So, you know, uh, I mean, it's a, t it's a tough situation, especially for a guy yeah. like that who really, you know. It's good guy. Good person, yeah. you know, good dude, and then out of all of us, you know, that'd be the person that you least expect something like that to happen to. But yeah, we, we definitely stay in contact. Um, I know you got a legal situation, so I don't want to touch on it like yeah. too much because yeah, I don't yeah. know what, you yeah. know, what it's called, but yeah, I definitely, 
you know, he knows much love. I, he, I respect that, man, because I, I had situations I went through, and I had a couple guys that, you know, stuck with me, and then I had a couple of them that really didn't give a fuck about me anyway, so, you right. know. I respect that though. I respect that a lot. Yeah, I'm with them. We stay in touch. Yeah, all of us. All of us stay in touch. But he knows love over him. Well, when, when it happens to a guy that you said you expected that from the least, what did it teach you about just how fragile everything is? It seemed like it can happen to anybody. Yeah. You you got your antennas up, right? Like that's just eye opening. And I drive fast cars too. And I, I got a demon. I've put it in launch mode. And thank God I've been blessed, but like, um, I, don't, I don't wish on both ends, you know, you don't wish that on nobody, but. What is launch mode? <laughs> uh, so, 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 launch mode is when you set the it. RPM up to a certain number, which is probably about 700, I think it's 750 in the demon. And when you let go, it take off. On, on who? What's a demon? Uh, Dodge <laughs> demon. No, like Hellcat. Yeah, you like them smart. Your car outside, huh? Your car. He got, he got Rolls Royce. That's, that's one thousand miles. Yeah, Hold that's, on. that's fast. That's a smart car, faster than that. I got a high boost engine in there. Wait huh? a minute, the Rolls was him? Yeah, the Rolls was him. What Rolls? Uh, that's his. I don't drive them. Yeah, I don't drive See, double R. Hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute. Double R. Uh, who that? Who? Wait a minute. Who was the double R? Who the who the double R? Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a lot crew. No, it's not. Yeah. That's a smart car. What, what you drove today? The smart car. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was about to say we, we, we breaking script. No, never breaking script. I've never, I've never seen him drive. I've seen him in a smart car in a station wagon, and minivan. The minivan. Yeah, I'm sorry. That's not not a station wagon. The minivan. Yeah, minivan. Yes. <laughs> like, it, it, I know he got it. I just know he ain't bringing it out. Yeah. He was just claiming. I want to know. Off of the last two seasons y'all had, Chase, I'm gonna start with you. How the hell do you build off of that? We all have goals as a team, and we all have individual goals. So I'm trying to understand. Let me let me be for, so people understand what the hell y'all did last year. Oh, this is crazy! Look at this. It's crazy. One hundred and four. He got all, the, all his name on everything on the board over there. <laughs> broke broke my fucking records and shit, man. How do you feel about that, Chad? I was happy. I was I know, happy. I know you happy. Let me, let me tell you, let me tell you about happy. But when you already know how, think about records and Hall of Fame, you already know how I feel. Man, f them shit. But the fact that he said what he said before the season started and he f walked it and talked it, or he talked it and walked it, either way you put it. Like that was like that, that shit. I ain't even know him personally like that, but the fact that he was able to come out and say some shit like that and then stand on that shit. Ugh. That shit gave me chill. But I think you know you, you know how I, difficult that is. I think you appreciate it more because he's talking it. Yeah, and walking it instead of playing their game. Excuse me, you, you know what I mean? Instead of playing their game, I'm from the boot, man. I'm finna come in here and wreck this shit. dog. You got it. 2021, 81 catches. Crazy. 14, 55, and 13 TDs. Did I ever score 13 TDs? I don't know. Absolutely fucking not. <laughs> Drop some out there too. Huh? I supposed to have like 18. Ooh. Yeah, you supposed to have about 18. Talk nasty to me. Hey, That's just facts. Receiving yards in the game broke mine. It was it was 260. He 266 out there cutting up on the Chiefs. What are y'all doing? Receiving yards in the season, 1455. How do you build on that? What are your goals for this upcoming season? Honestly, uh, I'm just. Shoot, I write goals a lot, you know what I'm saying, especially with football. Yeah. Um, so my biggest goal this year probably just going to be, and I just, this year just going forward, probably just triple crown, you know what mm. I'm saying, because I can't top my nose than what I did. Yeah. So I feel like triple crowns is what it got to be on. I ain't really even want to tell you all that, because now, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but, look, but listen. Triple no, crown is out there. You got to do it you, now. You got to explain. Yeah, you can I do was, it. I was explain. already going to say it. You can do it. Yeah, you got to explain to the people that's watching that don't know what the triple crown is, what the triple crown is. Yeah, so the triple crown is most touchdowns, most receptions, and most yards in a season. Ah. Uh -huh. And we standing on that. And, it's three. and if he don't get it, I'll stop eating McDonald's. He got a whole new line. You know he going to get it this year. Yeah. It won't be not nail game. <laughs> 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 he hit nine times this year and fall down. It won't happen. It will yeah. not happen this year. It Talk won't. to me. 
Well, my goal? Yeah, your, your, your personal goals. I know you had your team goals, you know, team game, blah, 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 all the shit they always talk about. But your personal goals for this upcoming season, to top what you did last year. Man, I ain't going to lie. I think my average, like, 9.5 or something like that, yeah. a catch. I got to, I'm way more, you feel me? I got to show some yak. I got to be yeah. a yak crazy mm -hmm. out there, like. Mm -hmm. They had like nine point seven, so that's definitely something that I know I got and something that I'm I got in I got a show. I ain't gonna talk too much about it. I just gotta go right. out there and show it. How much do you think you can learn from Tyreek Hill in terms of that run after catch? Because that's his specialty. Man, I think I'm gonna learn a lot. I think I can learn so much. He been in the league, well, he's going on seventh year. Had tremendous success. I think he's six time Pro Bowls, like been in Pro Bowl every year. I learned a lot from him. I know he's going to be like willing to teach it. So, I mean, you can soak up all that game. Good part is he's going to get the double team. You're going to be one on one. <laughs> so you should have a field. <laughs> hey, Jay, so Joe vouched for you last year. Uh, is there anybody that you want to vouch for? It, it worked. It's been working. So, might as well let you pick who we pick in the draft. Maybe it might work. Yeah, hey, nah, mean? nah, let me pick. Let Joe pick. All right, let him, <laughs> let Joe let him keep pick. picking. Right. I'm going to stay on my side. I thought that was pretty good. Joe, Joe, Joe picked a, a, a good pick, a great pick. Has he always had that kind of swag? Yeah, he always been like that. He always been like that. Besides when I first met him, he just was laid back trying to watch everybody. But once you get to know him, he cool. You know what I'm saying? He real cool. You know what I'm saying? He fit in almost like them to us. He fit in for real. So he cool. I like him. Do you think that's what makes him relatable to a lot of the players? I feel like that's easier to relate to him. You know what I'm saying? He don't express himself a lot, but you know, he showed no emotion. So, you know what I'm saying? Everything he do just laid out straightforward. You know what I'm saying? That's what you want. What y'all got going on off the field, man? Me? Business in Denver, or are we just focusing on football right now? I ratted Chad up yesterday. Ratted who? <laughs> ratted you up. Ratted who? You. They said, my, my homeboy said he got the footage, yeah, so that'd hope, be coming I out. you got it. We were just, we were just mirroring and shadowing. That'd be coming out. You told me get a route from the quarterback. And you ran a slant. And where was line. you? Yeah, but I was, I was playing three yards off. <laughs> That's your fault. No, not really. <laughs> That's this, the, listen, the backer, he dropped in the zone. <laughs> we ran a stunt and a D tackle. That's a pick. I'm going out of the way. You said you would have tackled me. Just do me stuff. a favor. We did go line. Let me know when you want the open field. You got us at the end of the That's workout. What I want. The open field? <laughs> when y'all back out there? Whenever you, you back out there. <laughs> you leaving town? Or you here? I'm here. So you leaving town? I'm here. You training here, right? Yeah. All right. Then you got to catch me when I'm in that early so I get a good, I guess, yeah, you know I'm I'll let you get, get right. Warm up get, in. See, the point is, the point is, I'm going to let you get right. I'm going to let you get right, warm up, do whatever you got to do, because <laughs> all that don't mean nothing. You being warm and me understanding after studying y'all, I done studied you uh, all year. I know every move. I done studied you, too. I know every move. Look. Who do the Madden ratings? What that got to do with anything? Do, listen to me. Who do so the now y'all know ratings? who to complain to. Wait, who do the Madden ratings? You do. So that, therefore, I have to study each and every receiver, every game, Sound every good. route, every catch, everything. So the fact that y'all think y'all gonna get open but after listen, I done studied y'all, okay. like, I treat this shit like the SAT. I'm not finna fail. <laughs> but I just seen you backpedal, so I know what you finna do. You seen me backpedal? Yeah, I just seen how you play. I didn't, you no, think you I came out there to really like go against you? I just wanted to see what you just do. Okay. So you had you. both of them, who the ex? Who, if they, ooh, you don't do me like that. <laughs> 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 don't do me like that. Huh? Listen, I think I'm a, I'm a creative offensive coordinator, and there would be no X. I'm just going to move everybody, move everybody around and create mismatches, which I hope McDaniels do with y'all. Because that's, yeah, man, I'm used to about four by one. I'm sick of, I didn't already went, I didn't already went on the women said we win the AFC East division. What? Oh, the Bills fans killing me. Oh. Oh, they killing me. Oh, you think because you brought, they ain't about, listen, they told me Mike McDaniels is a great offensive coordinator. So therefore, his creativity with weapons like that, I mean, we should sweep through the division. I don't care what the Bills defense look like. Oh, we got Josh Allen, and we got two of <laughs> Can I do that? Can I say that? I don't know. <laughs> um, <laughs> with, oh. From, from Tua's standpoint, obviously, he's gone through so much in his young career. You've, you've been here for, for one of the seasons. Coming back from the hip injury, taking over for, for Ryan Fitzpatrick, 
starting his second year, you know, I don't even know, coach kind of, coach and Tua not having a close relationship. Now he's got a new coach. What's the start going to be like for him? For him? Yeah. Man, Tua, I mean, Tua, one of them guys that you just got to, you got to be around, you got to know, to know his personality. Like, he's very competitive. That's one thing I said, but I don't want to talk for him, you know. I want him to talk for himself, but I'm just going to say he's very competitive, and I like him. He, he, he one of them guys. So he's always driven like that? Always from, I'm talking about coming in the national championship, you know, second half, throwing the game, winning touchdown. Like, not everybody just going in there doing that. Like, got the confidence to go in there and do that in the biggest game of, the, of his probably career at that point. So, you know, I think just look at a guy work and, and you know the guy, for me, that's, that's one of a good friends. So when I hear people, Say this and the third. I'm like, come on, come on, dog. Like y'all tripping. I feel like they're trying to make him the new Baker Mayfield. Who? Tua. Well, he doesn't, no, have, no, he doesn't no. have that type of persona, though. No, 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 no. In terms of he don't even talk that much. So you think they make Baker Mayfield make Baker Mayfield because he talks? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 He talks more shit than anybody. Back. You're not supposed. <laughs> if you talk the way talk and you got you commercials you like that, up. you got the you got okay. the <laughs> <laughs> hey. you so got it's so it's the quarterback. commercial and the talking. <laughs> the talk, yes. man, it came from college. You know, he had the moxie. That's the right yeah. word, moxie. Okay, he came right. that moxie. That's why, uh, you know, Johnny Man's not in there. Okay, he talk, 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 talk. He, he talked his right on about it there because he wasn't performing. But my thought is the expectations that they're creating, they're creating this, this perception that the Dolphins are now, oh, the Dolphins are just ready to win. It's just on the quarterback. Uh, I don't necessarily agree with that. You don't like, think so? No, because he's a young quarterback. He's in his, he's going into his third year, came off of. He got a lot of tools around him now, though. Yeah. yeah, I mean, so you think the tools create that expectation? I'm we got a young quarterback too. He used to winning, huh? The tools make your job easier. Is it, the proof is in the pudding? He used to winning. That's SEC, true. SEC national championship didn't win it. Any nobody won higher level national championship. Sound like some in the pudding? I don't know. I'm just saying. It sounds like some is in there. These guys who are used to winning, as far as quarterbacks, come in and win. We was just they have a different mentality than a guy that's going to. In Boise State, it's just a whole different ball game mentally. And he's Samoan too. <laughs> what they got to do with anything? He's a fucking warrior. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I forgot to ask you this question right here. I I had heard a little rumor like you almost left LSU because they was trying to switch your position. Nah, that was um, before I got the offer. That's when last oh, got was there. So, what happened with that? Uh, we was at a camp. I went there for a camp, so I was all constantly going out to the camp trying to get the offer, killing them at receiver, doing basically doing everything. So I go up to Les Miles' office. He hit me with the, um, yeah, I think you're a good receiver, but I feel like you know you could be good in another, another position, like cornerback or something. I'm like, like, nah, I ain't never backpedal damn my life. Like <laughs> that ain't gonna work out. Like I ain't even got an offer in that. Like. No film, like I'm not even about to try this out. That's not making no sense. So I about I had uh, at least eight to sixteen offers at the time. So I wasn't even about to let him switch my mind up on what I was doing. I just wasn't trying to play that. Nah, I just not trying to play cornerback. That's not it. That's not a good position at all. So you, you, growing up, you just knew you were gonna be that receiver. Nah, growing up, I played running back the majority of That's my life. That's where it came from. I played running back all my life until yeah. eighth grade. I got recruited by Archbishop Rummel. Um, one of the coaches came to my championship game. This is my first time making it to a championship game in middle school. Um, had about three touchdowns, down, down to 150 yards. Um, led them all the way to the championship, and then that's when I started playing receiver. So that year, in the middle of the season, they moved me to receiver, and I just fit in perfectly right there. And that's when I was like, I'm thinking I'm going to stay there. Great business decision. Yeah, yeah, great business. You ever you, you ever holler back at coach like coach? How would you, how did it pan out with his as far as staying at wide receiver? I bet you. I so. definitely I ain't hit him up in a minute. You know what I'm saying? But he I think he's sick now. So uh, you know, shout out coach Gary. You know he real cool dude, um, old dude too. You know what I'm saying? He's not even at Roman no more. But 
you know what I'm saying? Everybody that was there, they looked out at, after me, you know what I'm saying? So it, it worked out perfect when I went to Rumble, to be honest. What What's next for you guys in terms of careers, off the field achievements? Like, what wisdom do you hope to gain from your interactions with guys at House of Athletes, talking to Chad, getting, you know, covered by Chad, obviously. Locked up, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, it's, uh, okay. Up. I'm gonna let that slide. I ain't gonna. I ain't even gonna keep it. We gonna keep it pushing. What What, what, what do you hope to learn about yourselves and, and about the NFL? You know what I'm saying as as I'm going through this process, I'm still becoming a man myself. You know what I'm saying. I'm 22, like I said. Uh, I'm still going through adversity. You know what I'm saying. Just still, just still the beginning. You know what I'm saying. I haven't even made it to a second contract, to be honest. So, like, uh, I just want to grow. You know what I'm saying. Get more smarter in the game. You know, and outside of football, you know, business wise. Um, I'm going to start myself a sock business, you know what I'm saying? I'm an athlete, so if you're an athlete, you know you lose socks. Like, that's a fact. That's <laughs> yeah. a 100% a fact. If you're an athlete and you're a football player, you lose socks 24-7. They got holes in them, you don't know how. <laughs> Real talk. So I'm going to do me a little sock business. So that I think that's something that's going to blow up with ease. You know what I'm saying? Clothing brand. Um, I already got some stuff coming out. So um, just, you know, trying to be myself, you know, and be creative at the same time. Hey, you, Jalen? Yeah, I mean, shit. the NFL, I mean, I'm just going to learn as it comes. You know, I feel like the first year, you only could know so much. So you got to learn as you kind of like go through it. But um, business wise, I was actually just in here and probably like less than a month ago, we had the Dolphins had a business combine and um, Brandon came and spoke to us and let us walk through and showed us how all this working. How I love it. So just gaining more knowledge of like business, how to run a business, how he keep his business going, like how important, you know, the simple things is. He was talking about, you know, communication and how everybody here is just a family. So, I mean, just learning little stuff like that until I finally realized what I really want to invest in. And then when I do invest in something, I know exactly how I want to structure it, how I want it to run. Have y'all have y'all had problems with people coming out the blue, obviously after the success, after getting drafted, having the season you had, have you had a problem telling people no that haven't been around? Hell yeah, I wouldn't say just not the people around because the, the people that's not around, they only see you when you, you know what I'm saying, shining for real, you know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. it's the ones closest to you, I feel like. You want to make sure everybody's straight, you know what I'm saying? Your first time you get into this money, you trying yeah. to make sure mom's good, pops, cousins, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. People you really, really, truly love. So just finally having the opportunity to tell my people no, it was, you know what I'm saying? It was a little different, you know what I'm saying? We cool, it wasn't like no big thing, but right, right. I definitely seen like something happen for sure. But I hope it don't happen again, but definitely like made me notice and like my life changing for real. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they tried. You had a, you had a problem yet? I ain't gonna lie, like, cause my circle, like, ain't, small. it's real, it's real small, like, so, I mean, I help out when, when I can and I feel like it's reasonable. I don't just, just give people right. just, just, you know, giving. what's it called it, they in need or really need something, I feel like, and I can help, it, it's done, but you ain't just about to eat off me. Right, okay. That's not. Okay. Mm -hmm. that's Hard, especially when it comes to family, because family, yeah, yeah. Uh, family, 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 family bleeds you. Thing. Family it bleeds uh, you. Yeah, yeah, it bleeds you. That's yeah. the ones you love the most. The ones you want to talk to when yeah. you're going through shit. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Cause them, them two, three thousand add up. Two, three thousand that we. Yeah. Three, four thousand that we. Oh, you know the four more thousand. Yeah, twelve thousand <laughs> for the month. And, and what advice would you give them to curtail all that? Um. Sh it's hard to say no, but. Sh you know, I had literally everything taken away from me. So I got a chance to see <clears throat> where everybody's motive was. You get what I'm saying? And nobody thought that I was going to get back to where I was going to get back to because they thought, oh, sh he still, he going to jail soon. You know what I mean? Da da this soon, this and that. But I had a chance to sit back and see who was there when, you know what I mean, you're in that black alley. You only got, you know what I mean, one person you can count on or call on. And then you be like, God damn, I ain't even really need nothing but just to talk to your mother. Mm -hmm. You right. know what I mean? And that was the changing point for me when I didn't even have <clears throat> the same motherfuckers who I was busting, busting my ass for 
helping out here and there, anything they want, I can't even get a phone call from them. You know what I mean? When it was, when it was hard times. Not far as financially, I'm just saying mentally. You know what I mean? So um, somebody to talk to. I I learned that 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 flipped my whole mindset of how I handled a, a lot of things toward the back of my career. You know what I mean? And I was blessed to make a, a pretty good amount of money at the end of my career. So, but it was it was hard saying no. It was hard. Mm. It was hard. Well, the food's ready, so bring let's bring it out. Break some bread. How y'all doing? How you doing? What we got for today? How we doing? So today Good. we got a little egg roll mix up. Y'all like Philly cheesesteaks? We got a Philly cheesesteak egg roll, pretty much what we got. With some of that yum yum sauce on the side. Okay. Just a little bit of it. Excellent. Take a bite, let me know how it, how it is. True. Hey, real quick. Any y'all married? Yes, I am. Real quick. Did Will Smith go too far? Oh Hell no. Huh? Hey, hey, look, bro. My wife off limit. Y'all been not saying. Should, should he? Should he? Should he aligned up like that? <laughs> but he could have did it in a different way. Got it. I just think he was to the boiling point where he just couldn't <laughs> take no more. Like man, I've been letting y'all talk about it every time now. Yeah, I think I think he reached his point in there, and that was yeah. it for him. Real quick, Ocho, I got a, I got a question for you real quick. What's happening, baby? Hey, what happened the other day? What what? I think you kind of proved the Z and the X question. I saw the, the thing online. Like, B kind of looked like he was doing his thing, bro. What, nah. what happened? <laughs> he went two for five. He went two for five? Yeah, that's bad. It kind of looked like six for eight. Nah, we won't. A little we bit. Well, we got the highlight part. Yeah, he only caught oh, two bad, balls. Bad, that's bad, it. Bad, bad. So that's sure. why I'm the X. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm just making sure, because yeah. I don't really know football like that, but he's kind of looking like the X that day. Nah, it just looked like that, because it's size. That, that's true, that's yeah, true, it's the angles, awesome. right? Yeah. <laughs> Bigger than your smart car. Damn. <laughs> I was like, damn. You're huge, ain't he? He's, he, he's always been huge. Um, if you could give advice to two guys who just are on top of the world from a rookie season, about anything, life, love, business, how to learn from pros, what advice would you would you pass on to them? I love, would say. Love, don't worry about it, it'll be there. Yeah, don't love, worry about hold it. Hold on. Say that again. Love, don't worry about it right now, it'll be there. It, love will be there. Love will be there. To reach the pinnacle of greatness and consistency that they've done so far, you can't do that with someone on your right hand side. But what's supposed That's not you true, need? Chad. Hold on. What's supposed <laughs> you need? <laughs> what's supposed you need somebody to hold That's not you true, up? Chad. And, oh, and and <laughs> you can't joke. In order to be great at this, shit, you got to submerge yourself in your craft, twenty four seven. That don't mean you don't have to have a woman. You don't need that. They too You're speaking early. for He's yourself. Twenty two. What you need? A, how do you? Well, yeah, twenty two. Yeah, y'all got it. Well, they got some time to enjoy yeah, themselves. So I'm They're great. right. You're right. Need that. Twenty twenty. Yeah, twenty two. Oh, I was enjoying man. myself. Cool. They gonna be there. Yeah, he, the, they, they, they need a woman now. Yeah, they need a woman, but at 22, they need to enjoy themselves. The man had been working his whole life. He okay. just told you. So you, it's the no. first time he done had, how long? How long three you been times. playing ball? Shoot, three times. I've been playing football since I was, what, three? Man, this is the oh, first yeah. time you really get to enjoy yourself if yeah. you think about it as an athlete. Because guess what? In college, in you don't get no off time. At all. In high I'm school, you in don't in get no off time. You playing AAU basketball or doing something in the summer. 707. Yep. And really, like, the first, my first rookie, I'll never forget. I was like, God damn, I got so much time. <laughs> hey, think about this, right? Success. The two richest men in the world, right? Mm -hmm. They was married, wasn't they? Yeah, and they got divorced. They got divorced, right? Yeah. You know why? Because in order to sustain that type of success, all your energy has to go into what? The business? Exactly. So why would they end up, it'd be the same, it'd be the same reason. The time that a woman needs, especially at this so, time in their career. So what are you saying about yourself? Me? You got a girl. I'm retired. I ain't got shit to do. Well, I'm saying you're still working. <laughs> you're still working. Ooh. I'm saying you're building an empire. You're doing something. Are you saying afterwards or nah, just right now when they're right young? now. It's too early. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's too I agree early, with that. Too early. Yeah. I ain't do I ain't do into that. Yeah, right now. Yeah, they don't probably be 21, 22, 23, 24, yeah, I mean, 25, how do know? 6. That's they, my thing. They, how do y'all know married? that? You married? Mm -mm. You got a girl? Nah. You got a girl? Nah, I'm chilling. See what I mean? Enjoy yourself. Perfect. They perfect. perfect. They can just focus on their craft and getting better. And Every day. Y'all find a way to get open on me. That's it. <laughs> I already, I'm winning. Yeah, I'm looking right at you. Yeah. I'm winning. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. 
Hey, speaking of dodge, y'all know <laughs> Chad. Chad never had a dodge. Me either, really. But he is he is really bad. He is really bad. You eat McDonald's? And he loves this this Breakfast. place called McDonald's. Yes. And he eat it all day, every day, day before the game, after the game, or or, or what, what's 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 y'all what y'all resume like? You, you got diet? No diet? What's up? <laughs> I eat breakfast a lot. Let's go. Yeah, okay. I, like, I ain't gonna say I eat the worst, but I don't eat bad, especially during the season. I ain't I mean, got no diet. I eat how I want, man. See? People at home listening. When you work hard, man, that body right. gonna come, Yeah, bro. man. Either you got it or you don't. You heard with him, Brandon. Do you got some you eat, uh, uh, a ritual before the games or anything? Just music, probably. Music. Couple what songs. What you listen to? Eat? What's on the playlist? Young boy. Nah, I don't be bumping why I be that hard. Uh, I be listening to Kodak, Lil Baby, uh, Nino Calvin, Lil dude from the city local, um, Rafa 9 You know what I'm saying? So I got a, I got a plain little playlist. I don't listen to too much music. I be asking people for music. What about to be you, on. Jay? I just be vibing. I don't really. Um, no I don't super- really eat before the game. I ain't no, gonna lie. No superstitions like certain socks, certain. Girdle, like none of that. Like I gotta wear these gloves. I gotta wear these socks. That's as long crazy. as I listen to one song, I'm straight. What song? What song? Straight Bars by Kodak. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I just need one song and I'm good. I'm out the door. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm straight. I do gotta make sure I'm looking right though. Yeah. I got to. Of course. When you, when y'all were growing up, who was the biggest college player that y'all could remember? I'm gonna let you go know. first. I, I gotta think about that. Damn. One. College, no. like growing. I don't think they nah, were Cam young. Was, they were Cam, 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 Cam was. I know. Was that Cam Reggie was year different. Mm-hmm. That's when he was doing a lot of the Superman uh, back yeah. then. So Reggie was different. Reggie who? Bush in college. Yeah. As far as college, yeah, Reggie, Reggie was the biggest. Probably. Vince. I'm from Houston, so. Okay. Vy. Vy was. Vy was the man in college. Y'all like the uh, transporter thing? What do y'all think about the, the transport? I feel like it even. Cause I went to Alabama, and coaches in and out there every every year to for a better job. So I feel like it even, but I do feel like you don't think it take away from. Uh, it's from where you look at it. What's the point? It'd be really good players, especially where I went to school at. It'd be really good players. Look at Mac Jones. Yeah. Now everybody gonna have that Mac Jones story of sitting three, four years and being the first round pick. Yeah. If you transferring because you don't want to compete, then that's different than someone that actually need to transfer for a, a good reason. You know what I mean? You just ducking. Because when you get to the NFL, you can't duck. I ain't no ducking. Everybody is them. Yeah. And came from the school and then they real good. So it's going to catch up to them. I feel like reasoning though. What's the main reason most of the kids hit the portal anyway? Basically because they don't want to compete or they have somebody else that's starting in front of them? Probably. Most likely. Probably. probably. I feel like it is. Yeah, probably. probably. Playing time or, or just not the Play right time. situation. It's most, but you got some ju- guys that are playing, though. But you got some guys are playing that's getting playing time. I don't, play time. That. I don't understand that, though. I don't understand that. If they doing that, that that's most likely some off the field of the coaches, though. You know what I'm saying? That's something a lot of we stuff don't know about. I mean, and that's that's the thing. A lot, of, a lot of, exactly. A lot of the stuff that y'all go through, People don't talk about it. They don't see. Exactly. And it's hidden. And if a coach is abusing you, or, or you know, talking talking that smack, talking that talk behind your back, why why do you want to stay there and play for him? I just don't. Cause a coach can just up and leave, you know. And you, he could have been recruited you. That'd be one of the main reasons you went. He just up and leave. He got a better job in somewhere you. And then you just stuck there with so, a new coach. Mm-hmm. New so you think it's West fair College. because it gives you the same right as the coach? To a certain extent, I ain't gonna. I, I say the reasoning. If you like, if you reason, if your reason for something crazy, I feel like you shouldn't have went to that school in the first place. But if you got good reasoning behind, and you really like, then I feel like you you should have the option to. Cause you only get what five, five, five years in college. Like once in five years done, things go by quick. You might not get that opportunity where it's like less than one yeah. percent make it. Right. Yeah, right you gotta right take now. them five years serious. So if you think, I mean, but not everybody's gonna make it to the league though. That's you can't tell everybody that. You need to tell everybody that. 
That's one out of Alabama. Yeah. You can't crush their dreams like I'm not, that. I'm not trying to crush the dream, but. That's crushing the dream. I think everybody at the top five power schools have a good chance of making it no matter what. Just because of based on where they go to school, the opportunity in the door is going to present itself and it's going to be open. Now, what you do once you get in that motherfucker, is on that's you. on you. All right. I, I, question. I just want to know, did your girl, your, why you cut your hair? It wow. wasn't your friend <laughs> that make you cut your hair, did she? Man, I ain't going to lie. I've been saying I was going to cut my hair for a little minute, like like two, three years. Like I went to work out. It was hot. Hot. <laughs> <laughs> I went and had a haircut appointment. Hey, let it go, huh? Let it go. You your mom had no reaction? She was shot. I told him I cut my hair, I walked in the door, my mom started literally crying. I'm like, what is wrong with you? She's like, why did you do that? <laughs> <laughs> and she boo cried. I started growing my hair back out in like three months. I felt so bad. Like How long you had them before you cut them? Since my junior year, maybe senior year in high school. All my all my my dreadhead. Friends and stuff, they look at me different now. Yeah. <laughs> like, they look at me different, I'm telling you. Question. LSU, yeah. who's your top five receivers? Um, everybody know the little four. Me, Jets, Odell, Jarvis. Um, so if I, if I knew the fit one, I'd tell you. But I don't know five because I don't really be knowing a lot of oh, you, you big, ain't put, big, you big ain't receivers put, uh, that came out. Dwayne Bow in there? Debo went there? Debo yeah, went there. Yes, he, he went to LSU. Top five. Alabama. Alabama. That's too many receivers. He, he got gotta five. go. Give me five. Gotta go Julio. Julio was crazy. I feel like he really started that like pop line, like for real. C Red was different. Okay, cool. 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 Josh Reed. Cool. Josh Reed. Okay. Smitty won Heisman, so we gotta throw him Devontae. up there. Yeah. <laughs> um Yes sir. I'm, I'm keeping me out of it. Right, I'm going to go Jew. Uh, Jerry Judy. He was different. Jew. I'm going to go Jew. Damn, y'all is stacked that receiver. That's a good one. Oh, that's a good list. With, with Tyreek Hill coming, obviously we talked about the things that he could teach you in terms of run after catch, but how, potential, how potent do you think that the offense can be potentially? Uh, I feel like it's going to be different. Like, I ain't going to sit here and try to – you know, convince the the world what's called because obviously we got to work for to get that stamp of being one of them. You know, high power offense. But I feel like with who we got, if we put it together, you know, we should be all right. We just got to work. That AFC is stacked, man. If AFC you, tough. Just the quarterback play facts, alone. Facts. AFC North and East is stacked. If you, yeah, he talk about quarterbacks. I quarterback mean, wise, oh yeah. Quarterback yeah, yeah, wise, yeah. they stack. What you think? Not Deshaun, Lamar, right? Joe Burrow, mm -hmm. and up in the air over in Pittsburgh. No disrespect. I mean, but Pittsburgh is consistently a winner no matter what. So they still. I bet you they won't be the next four years. <laughs> they, if they ain't got no quarterback at the helm, I mean. Come on, Ben Roethlisberger has been done for two, three years. No, nah, it was just his first bad year last year. That's I, how. That's that's how you you be you really think like that. Ben was done a year ago. Come on. You think so? Why? Because he's not mobile. He's never been mobile. I know he's never been mobile, <laughs> but what what passes? What difference was he making? Now this year I could see that. Yeah, this year was it was I think it's the second half of the year he kinda the the bottom fell out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No? You disagree? No, you're right. Well maybe Mitchell Trubisky, if I'm not mistaken. I, I like Mitch. Is I, he the answer? Long no, term? Nobody no. But I think he can he's taking the team to the playoffs. How many quarterbacks can say they've taken a team to the playoffs? I mean he's not gonna do it in the AFC North. Not anytime soon. It, it's that's a that's a tough that's a tough division. That's that's it is. The, that's it by is. far in my mind the toughest division in football. It's really. always been the toughest yeah, division but in football. Not really being that the Bengals the Bengals really run the AFC North, honestly. Bengals definitely run the AFC North. The Bengals <laughs> run the AFC North. <laughs> yeah. Since when? I mean since since, since this last year. year. Since last year? No, what and, you and some years before that too. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I am not arguing with you. <laughs> they came out the AFC they came out the AFC. Like, but outside of you, how many people predicted they would win the championship, get to the Super and Bowl? I said that way in August. I know you did. I ain't said to uh, September. I got it written down like week 
six. They they got hot. They peaked. They hit it. They hit it at the right time. The right time. And that's what you really have to do. But now though, we got a line. Mm. <laughs> we gonna be peaking early this year. I had I had the Dolphins. I wanted you are a Dolphins beat reporter. I said that the Dolphins were winning the AFC East. Everybody jumped on my head. Your thoughts? They hired the right coach who will build the right system for Tua. I've always been a fan of that Mike Shanahan, wide zone, play action. You know, remember Jake Plummer? Mm. See people, people, mm. you see that face? That's the face that, for people who remember Jake Plummer, yeah. athletic, mobile, you, you, you I remember Jake Plummer. Jake Plummer was no slouch He now. was not a slouch. And you didn't have to have unbelievable skill level to be an efficient quarterback in that offense. If you can run with power, if you run with efficiency, it'll open up the field for guys like with speed, and you have a quarterback who can facilitate all that, you, you win the money. So basically with everything you just said, mm -hmm. they're winning the AFC East because you just said everything you need. You have a quarterback that can facilitate, Mm -hmm. You have a running back that can open it up for the receivers, mm -hmm. and we got speed. And he so said they basically, got we went in the AFC too. East. It's okay. Go on the record and say it. No, Josh Allen, that dude, bro. Until who? Josh Allen. Jo you, you, you do realize. I, I know who Josh Allen yeah, is. Okay. He's, I have, I, yeah. he's that young dude. And no disrespect, but they haven't even touched the bank, uh, touched the bills in two years. Like, come close. But we seen a little dog fight that second, that second game? So in the second half. We seen a little dog fight. Don't, don't in, in, like in the second half. Do. Hey, man, it, don't worry about it. You heard what that boy said. Help coming. <laughs> <laughs> Help is on the way. <laughs> it's going to be a different kind of game with him down there with y'all because he's going to open up a lot. A lot. He's going to demand too high. So the run game going to be different. Single, You're going to be single backside. It's going to be a whole lot different. You, t you talk trash on the field? I'll be turned. Yeah. No. uh mm -mm. I'll be turned. No. uh I don't believe it. I talk a little bit. Sometimes. I try to start first though. It's, it's not. Like, it's, it's not. It's not like 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 college. Like it's not like they ain't really about to bump mm -hmm. with you like that. Ah, this is he was the king of talking. It's, it's a lot, like it's a man game. You see how it was yesterday? Just talking constantly, constantly. I would do that all game, whole game. TV timeout. I go in they huddle and keep talking. If I can get you to answer back just a little bit, I just need. I just need. If I can get that little edge mentally, I know I got you. Once I get them talking. Boom, I won. Then I know I'm gonna be able to dominate the rest. If I could just get, get it, you gotta try that shit one time. Just try one game. Try it in the preseason. Just in the preseason. Uh, we, we had a whole presentation on, I know y'all had it too. Um, what's the, they ain't playing with the um, taunting. Mm -hmm. Like, they finding. Yeah, yeah, I saw yeah. Get you out of there. Hold on, hold on. So, what y'all can't talk trash? You really can't show, like, if I catch a ball and and, oh, and look emotion. at him, yeah, you and look at him like, oh yeah, you getting that? Yeah, different problem. I forgot He's all about that. that. Yeah. My bad. Okay, never mind. Scratch that. In honor of Brandon not being here, we're gonna keep the tradition of tea time going with Jalen Waddle and Jamar Chase. Gentlemen, first question: Tea time. Who is your celebrity crush? <laughs> I can't say mine because she, she with someone. She with, okay, so that's a little bit of respect Not though. really, no, no, you can say. Jalen, I got a question, I got a question. I heard you had a crush on Molly Cyrus. That's very true. <laughs> Did you shoot your shot? I didn't, I ain't gonna lie, I like that old Molly, now she. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody skipped that over Hannah them. Montana. Somebody, Somebody skipped over. Huh? What's good? Your crush. Sawi. Ain't no celeb. Nah, ain't no so no, no. No? Nah. That's the dog name though. That's cute. <laughs> <laughs> nah, not nah, her. She can't go. Probably Lauren London out of anybody. Younger Lauren London. You know what I'm saying? You fishing or you shooting your shot in the DMs? I slide it. I ain't gonna count. I go in there. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't got nothing hot. I go shoot me. I don't even check. I'm I'm gonna shoot my shot for sure. Yeah. Got some shooters. We got some shooters. Some shooters. Might as well. Got some shooters. Might as well. In college, you actually said that you thought Mac Jones was. I knew this was coming. Th th really? I knew this was coming. Nah, I always defended you by saying that's the, that's what you gotta say. 
Right. Because you coming out with him, and that's what I am. <laughs> but I had to put my tee down. <laughs> you, I, I look at it like, all right, two has already been drafted. If I can say something to help someone get to where two are at, why wouldn't I say it if mm. two are ready? They was killing me about that. You know, you know what drove me crazy about you? When you selected, you literally did this. You got drafted. Your whole family through. trying to celebrate with you, and you just like. <laughs> <laughs> what people fail to realize, like, mm -hmm. yeah. it's a production. So I knew, but the clock still goes on. Like, even though I knew. So I read and hugged everybody, celebrated. I went over to Pat section, celebrate with his family. So they like, hey, just sit back down. We, we want to get you when they say a name on the oh, board. Okay, okay, okay. You know? Okay. So they call my name. <laughs> right. But we already didn't celebrate. We, I'm talking about it was more than enough time. Like, I don't think you, I don't think you hit the stage yet. Like, you think you still celebrate with your family. I already got the call. Like, <laughs> so it, I'm like, I'm get on. It's a good day. But right. I go back to the hotel. I'm trending on Twitter. Like, <laughs> number one, they killing me. <laughs> Uh, they like if um, if y'all not getting shit was a person and then they had <laughs> yeah. tea time, five routes in open field, Ooh. twenty other fifty. Let's knock it down. Five apiece. How many you catching out of five with me and bump and run? I want you to be realistic. In open field. In open field. Who 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 who, who, who our quarterback like? Who's quarterback be don't a legit matter because I'm covering you. Honestly, if I want you to look in my face. So you see how serious I am. <laughs> Five routes, under 20 yards. Don't don't go deep. Cause I'm, I'm, not, I'm not gonna go deep. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm not running down there. Don't go deep. I ain't running cheating. down there. I'm not, I'm not really. There's a thousand million I'm other routes you can run. I'm a deep receiver. Five, five routes. How many you catching? Be honest with yourself. Five, be honest. I want you after, to be after, honest see, with after yourself. After seeing me out there, how many you catching? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you feel like that? Hey, call me trash. I We had to fight to get a meal. Yeah, wrongfully accused. We had to fight to get a pills. That's why we right to get a deal. He on the team, he gotta eat, you know. Spike your skills, fat. Keep it riding for the fam. You gotta light the wooden wheels straight up. But in the past, bad. Work up in the trash bag. I'll pass a lot to take the test before I pass class. Yeah. And my family needed bread, I had to come correct That's why I keep airing it out like I just passed gas 